The first problem we come across is that uh, two thirds of the way through the video, because I have raised my hand and moved, we have my hand being hidden here by one of the bollards. That means that we have to really rethink the way we have approached this. Uh, it really means that before this happens, the mask itself has to be faded out so that I can move and uh, the mask does not overlay that movement and spoil the video. That means that as well as having to fade the mask out we will also have to in effect bring forward the colour saturation fade for the rest of the video uh, because whilst we have that at the moment running equally over the length of the video we perhaps want to do something a little more creative now so that as the mask fades out we reach um, a, a full colour uh, without any hiccups or odd transitions. So we have to re-approach the project and we have to adjust when our colour saturation fades and our mask fade out and we have to do it together so that they're synchronised. Here's a snapshot of PIP Track 1 in PIP Designer. As you can see, what we have to do is this is the time that that movement occurs. And you can see we've added two extra keyframes. And we want to maintain a monochrome color through to here. And then we want to rapidly change to a full colour here for the remainder of the video. Remember that means altering the transparency at these points. So at this point we have zero transparency. PIP track 1 is in monochrome. At this point it changes between keyframe 2 and keyframe 3 from 0 to 100% transparency to allow full colour to show through and it maintains full transparency for the remainder of the clip. As you can see PIP Track 2 in PIP Designer looks exactly the same. It has the same two extra keyframes. Uh, PD doesn't give us an easy way to judge the uh, uh, timing of these so we have to guess between PIP designer windows. It's a little bit trial and error and so what we have here is 100% transparency all the way through to keyframe 2 and between 2 and 3 we go from fully transparent to nil transparency to allow the colour to be maintained all the way to the end. So that gives us a rapid colour saturation fade at this point and that's synchronised to the same point that we fade out the custom mask that we've used to do the colour popping and that's just before my arm starts to move and therefore there is no mask and it looks quite natural. This is the mask track in PIP Designer. The first two keyframes here govern the um, visualization of the mask to start with, the increase or decrease in transparency as the mask becomes apparent at the beginning of the video. It maintains its transparency all the way through to this point, which is the same point that the color saturation fades in PIPs 1 and 2 are operating. At this point we want the mask to disappear, therefore the transparency increases rapidly at this point and then is maintained all the way through here. In this area there is no mask apparent in the main video. That allows all movements and transitions to look seamless.
Well, another good morning to you. This is my uh, second world report. Uh, this is uh, opposite the Garibaldi Monument. The sun has just come up over the hills of Rome. It looks to be another stunning day. If the traffic and the wind will let me, I'll uh, try and show you what it's like. So, over there, broadly in front of me, is where the sun's coming up and the rest of Rome lies below us.